I just arrived in Texas and met up with Mr. Civtac here because I'm about to go spend two days with, look at him. All right, John, you gonna open the door for me? Oh, well? yeah, yeah, I'll open the door for you. <laughs> My, I was like, oh yeah, why is he opening the door? He's struggling over there. I'm spending two days with this guy, an American outlaw, somewhere out in the mountains of New Mexico. So that is this video. Welcome and enjoy. Johnny, what were you saying? We just drove into New Mexico and there's just vast amount of land here. And I can't help but think how many bodies are actually buried out here. You, you really do have to think about all, like, all the cartels, all the gangs, all the biker gangs that come out here in New Mexico. At least one. There's at least one body out here. There's no way that there isn't a body. We got a table full of guns and gear, and then I read computers. Like, yeah. Wait, are we looking? I will, we can hear in a little bit. Johnny How much are these? Uh, 50. These are $50,000 knots. Dump all of your footage. Oh, I can't see anything. To, um, oh, oh, one turbo. they go like this. Right now. <laughs> this is my Johnny Q killer belt. This is it right here. It's to hurt Johnny Q in competition. See this? It's magnetic. See that right there? Mm. It's so fast. That oh, is. no, you got a staccato holster. Yep, say it again. You want to do the echelon versus staccato? Yeah, let's do it. Is this a 2011? No. No. I thought they were 2011s. No. So I'm a Beretta guy. I always have been. The 92, you know, like Lethal Weapon, Die Hard. So they come with this new one right here, and it is a decocker, decock down. I mean up, sorry, you decock up. And then it's a double action, single action, right? But you still leave it off safety. Okay. Then they came out with this one that is not the decocker. It is a single action. And then what's weird is it feels like you're going to miss the thumb safety, but you actually don't. It's there he is, weird, but cool. And it's got the old school desert chocolate chip. So, you know. We are in the mountains right now, and currently the elevation's 8,000, is what I've been told. And so it is very cold this morning, but it's gonna be a great day because we're going to the range. A lot of guns, a lot of gear, a lot of cameras, and the collab with American Outlaw and CivTac. He is, I don't know what he's doing. Let's go ask him. Here. What are you doing right now? Oh, I'm setting up our interview questions. Oh, gotcha. So what he wants to do is he wants to interview me for his video for his YouTube channel. So we're gonna do a pretty quick, fast interview if we can. But check out this view. It's pretty gnarly. Look at this awesome view. Let's go. All right, we're off to the range. Put this in here. Yes, sir. You ready? Woo, let's go. You guys are going with the pistol? Yeah. Listen, I wasn't ready to be on camera just yet this morning. Like, I'm not like Johnny Q. I don't wake up with a perfect five o'clock shadow and the perfect hair. Like, I wake up and I need a haircut and I'm turning gray and, and I, I need a, I don't drink coffee, but like, if I did, I would need a cup of coffee. Sure. Ready to go to latte, right. Starbucks? Right. Yeah, let's go. There's no Starbucks here. <laughs> There's no Starbucks here at all. Dang it. All right, Trey, what are we doing here? Dalen, come here. Dallin. Dallin. You confused me with that, dude. Dallin. I can't get his name right. Dallin. <laughs> so I thought his name was Dallin because that's how you spell his name, like Dallin. So clearly his parents didn't like him. And, I don't correct people. And then, and then he introduced himself as Dalen. And I was like, what the heck? Matt, come over here and film for us. Here, do that. In, in New Mexico, we don't have like 7-Elevens or Tootin' Totems, or what do you have in Idaho? Mavericks. Mavericks. What do you have in- Quick Trips. Quick Trips, we have Allsup's. And <sighs> the owner of Allsup's was actually a friend of mine, but <clears throat> he has since passed, Lonnie Allsup, good guy. Uh, I think he sold us a Warren Buffett for a billion dollars. But in tradition, you guys must take a taco sauce. Oh. No taco sauce. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, all, all subs, subs are burrito. All subs. Oh, I thought they're, we were gonna. They are literally world famous for all subs. David, burritos. show the camera. Yeah. Show the camera. All yeah. right, take a look at this. World famous. Got to use taco sauce though. Part of it. Boom! Look at that. Oh, the Boom. cheesiness, the steaminess. It's like a, it's like a flaky pastry. This Here, is, Damien, this I got you more tortilla. tortilla. He's never had a world famous all sorts burrito. World yeah. famous. You gotta have the taco sauce. I avoided getting this yesterday. I know you did. Jack did it only. But the chimneys. The dang, this is good. The chimneys. Whoa. The chimneys, but if you've never had it's so good. Beef and you bean try. burrito. This ain't no be breakfast burrito either. Let's let's give it a yeah, go. Yeah, it is not a breakfast burrito at all. This is so good. How does it feel, Mr. Idaho? Wow, that's impressive. Potatoey. That's good. A little bit of kick. Better than those off. MREs we had earlier. Yeah, Trey's been uh, keeping us keeping us on a starvation ration of those MREs. No. So finally, he's letting so us re they stole branch them from out. My <laughs> it's a lot better. Bro, good. This is freedom, this is bro. Way better than a Taco freedom. Bell. Freedom. Way better than Taco Bell. Clearly, Damien is un-American, un in touch with his Mexican culture of Nueve Mexico, and and doesn't like us. Where the heck are you taking us, bro? Bro, it's ridiculously hot out here. And this that is hot? Means, you know how hot it would be in Lubbock? We'd be dying right now. I'd be like, uh, uh. <laughs> Now here's what's about to happen, okay? We're about to do How Deadly is a Knife on American Outlaw. Yeah. This is the portion of the 21 foot rule that we're talking about as far as having, where'd he go? There he is. Having it concealed or having it holstered, right? Yep. So what is, give us a 30 second premise of the 21 foot rule here with with our bad guy being Dalen. All right, 21 foot rule is 21 foot in theory, if you are very tuned up and good at what you're doing and you have an outside the waistband holster, 21 foot is the time it takes you to draw and shoot a an attacker before he can cut you should everything be perfect. Just so you guys know, this is a Glock 19X airsoft gun. Nobody here has any live guns on them, so I'm gonna shoot Civtech. It won't safely. It won't kill me, but boy, is it gonna hurt. Let's try it out. 21 feet. Now, what's gonna happen is they're gonna give a cue for Dylan to come at me and try to stab me. We'll see how that goes for him. All right, the box is and right this here. is what you should do in that 21 foot rule scenario. So let's try it out. Notice what I do. You're like 10 feet back. The box yeah, is up. Yeah, scoot up, scoot up, scoot up. Right. Oh, it's out. Let's, let's pull it out. <laughs> also, I was yes! like, hey, I'm going to tell you right now, that you would have shot me. You would have shot a civilian. Did I shoot you? And, yeah, you would have killed me. Or did it bounce off? No, no it's too shot. You would have been, I would have been so dead. Johnny would have been in prison for not there. focusing on what was behind him. Oh, yeah, let's fill it up. Well, we're currently packing up both trucks. We are leaving right now to go get lunch. Then we're gonna come back and film more videos, but hopefully you guys are enjoying what's going on here. And it's just really cool to, you know, come together as gun tubers, make content with CivTac, uh, American Outlaw, and just overall just have a good time. So, yeah, hoping to do more. This is just day one. We got one more day full of content and we'll bring you guys along for sure. So with all that being said, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. Peace. What does Johnny do when you shoot him with an airsoft gun in the nuts? <laughs> I have a staccato. All right, you win. I thought you were legit gonna shoot me. I thought you were legit gonna shoot me. No too. way, dude. You can shoot that for fun if you want to. I just loaded it up. Not at me.